Look at this guy. I'm gonna give this guy like a big old cherry kiss. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up? It's Who the F is JC, your unofficial junk food connoisseur, back again with another snacking related video. Now, this is a very, very special video that's gonna really hit home with the folks in Michigan and Toledo because this time, a very, very not so anonymous person that works for Dr. Pepper has hooked me up with some super secret burners, black cherry, before it's actually hitting stores. It's gonna hit stores this week, but I'm gonna be able to taste test it here on this video before it's even on the shelf. So, before we get to the actual taste test of this brand new burners, I wanna say, hey, thanks to Astro W for hooking me up, putting this job on the line, putting this line on the line, all for the sake of smuggling out some of this delicious, hopefully, delicious beverage. Thank you, Astro Dummy, for doing that for me. And it's much appreciated. And now you, who is watching this, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like, drop a thumbs up down there, down below. Leave a comment down below. Are you gonna try the new Verners? Or is this not available in your area? If you don't live in the Michigan area, would you wanna try this Verners? Which is a ginger ale, essentially. That's what it is. But if you enjoy my content, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, you can join me live when I taste test snacks, pops, new exotic flavors, you name it, if it's weird and it's tasty, and even sometimes not so tasty, I'm trying them live on my Twitch channel for a Just Snacking stream. You can actually watch the most recent Just Snacking stream by clicking this link right here. Right here, right here, right here, yeah! There we go. And uh, of course, you can join me live, twitch.tv slash who the F is JC. So, burners. Now, if you live in Michigan, if you live in Ohio, if you live in the Midwest, you're probably familiar with the brand burners. Burners pretty much makes one thing only, and that is ginger ale. Burners ginger ale was the cure for anything that ailed you as a child and you didn't want to go to school. I'd be home from school sick, and my mom would be like, here, have some burners, you'll feel better. Here, have some burners, you'll feel better. Oh, my tummy's hurt. Have some burners, you'll feel better. I got the sniffles and a headache. Have some burners. That's what it was like growing up in Michigan. And I'm not complaining, but maybe we're seeing why I have such an addiction to pop. But anyways, Verners is putting out this week a brand new flavor. This is the first flavor that they put out other than regular Verners in over 50 years. Of course, Verners is named after the man who invented it, the ginger ale uh, invented by the man that goes that went by the name of James Verner, another great uh, another great James, I said another great Verners. I don't know any other Verners, but I do know another James. Another great James in uh, Michigan history. Uh, he's created uh, the Verners. And uh, that was like 156 years ago, I believe. Can you tell I did some research? I did a little research before I hit record on that cell phone. We're gonna see if this new Verners holds its own against the flavor of the classic Verners. We're gonna uh, crack it open, give it a sniff, let you see, let you know if you can smell any of the, the black cherry aroma. We're gonna pour it into a cup here, a little, my movies clear cup here. I'm gonna pour it in so you can see what color it is. I'm gonna taste it, let you know when I think about it, and I'll also let you know if black cherry burners will be on my rotation for more pop. So, without any further ado, we should crack this bad boy open. Ooh, there we go. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, you can see it's pink. It's like a pinkish red, almost like a cranberry color. Now I'm not picking up any hints, any specific hints of any kind of flavors. It smells like I just opened up a can. I don't even really get like much of a hint of a, the Verners. Maybe it's because it's in the can and it's not in the bottle, but let's pour it out. Ooh. Gotta fill that up halfway. Maybe now that it's in, it's bubbled up a little bit, it's kind of moving around, circulating, we can get a bit of a sniff. Okay. Now I'm picking up more of it, like a cherry set. It almost, it smells kind of like a cherry 7-Up. So it's probably definitely a cherry. Uh, I'm picking up some hues of the cherry flavor uh, in the pop. That's what I'm probably picking up because it smells like cherry 7-Up now. Almost exactly look what cherry 7-Up smells. And it's black cherry burr, so that would make sense. It's dark. It's a, it's a darker cranberry. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Rock and Rye, another classic Michigan. Oh, I got pitch names. It's a hot day today. It's one of the hottest days of the year today here in Michigan. Uh, well, another classic flavor of Michigan pop or Midwest pop. I guess maybe it's a little, it's known more around the country in, in a way because of ICP uh, and that they spray Fago. But Fago has a flavor of pop called Rock and Rye. That's what this kind of looks like. The smell 
No, not the same smell, but it definitely looks like it. It definitely looks like it. But let's see what, how it tastes. It's good. Oh, it's got a nice, oh, nice cherry flavor. Like a, ooh, like classic cherry can. I, I'm digging the cherry flavor. It tastes a bit sweeter, I would say, than a regular Verner's ginger ale. And I feel like I'm not really picking up much of a hint of ginger ale. I just feel like I'm drinking a cherry pop. Like I feel like I'm drinking just a black cherry pop, um, but it's not bad. This is good. Like I'm digging the cherry flavor. It's almost like uh, taking the black cherry popsicle right out of my mouth. Great, great cherry flavor. So as you're drinking it, it tastes like a, you know, you feel the bubbles and you feel, uh, you know, some of the, the carbonation from the Werner's ginger ale swirling around on your tongue and on the roof of your mouth. So that's there. Um, but I just honestly feel like I'm just drinking like a, like a sweet pop. If I sat down and I had this in front of me, I definitely would not think this could be a possible Werner's, but it's got a great black cherry flavor. And uh, yeah, I would, I would buy this, like, if I'm in the mood for a Cherry 7-Up, you really, you just taste cherry, you know? It's more like a, like a cherry pop. But I feel like the cherry flavor isn't as imitation, if that makes sense. I don't know, um, black cherry is naturally and artificially flavored, but, uh, so I don't know if they used any kind of natural cherry. Let me see what it says here. This is natural artificial flavors produced under the authority of Dr. Pepper. Blah, 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 blah. Seven up. Oh, okay. Well, they also do seven up. So maybe that's why there's a, a bit of a seven up similarity here in the, with the scents and the flavor. But I would say this is definitely a stronger cherry flavor. Look at this guy. I want to give this guy like a big old cherry kiss. Mm -hmm. Is that James Werner? Is that James Werner right here? I gotta know. Mm -hmm. Great job, Werners. Uh, I'm digging it. I don't know if it's going to become a, a huge cultural phenomenon in the Midwest or in the Michigan slash Toledo, Ohio area like uh, original burners has, but uh, it's good. Definitely when it hits store shelves, shit hits store shelves today, uh, not today. Don't take that as today, this week. So my guess is probably within like the next week or so, today is August 4th. I would imagine within like the next seven to 10 days, you're gonna start to see this on your store shelf. So if you had the opportunity to try some, I highly encourage you go out there and grab a bottle and give it a sip. It's worth at least a bottle and a sip. Hopefully you'll like it and then you'll, you'll end up buying more. Oh, actually, I can take a sip from the, from the can first. Let's see if the, from the can. Let's get from the spigot, it's even better. It almost tastes like a, like a frozen cherry icy. Oh man, coming from the can, the carbonation makes the pop foam up even more in your mouth than when you're sipping it from a cup. Dude, drinking it from the can's even better. Um, honestly, it foamed up almost where I felt like I was taking sips of like a cherry icy or like a cherry slurpee. But good shit burners, I'm digging it. Can't wait to find it on my local grocery store shelves. And uh, I'm gonna buy some more, very cool. It's also caffeine free. So if you're ever trying to watch your caffeine, keep it in mind, burners and ginger ale, caffeine free. But again, thanks to Astro Dummy, the not so anonymous, I don't know if I should mention it. Uh, everybody's gonna figure it out. The not so anonymous person that worked at a place that came in contact with some of these burners. He smuggled them out for me. Thank you so much, Astro Dummy. I appreciate you putting your life and livelihood, actually not your life, just your job and your livelihood on the line. I don't think you actually put your life on the line because I don't think anybody's gonna kill over burners. I mean, maybe they will. It's strange times right now, but I'm assuming they won't. But that's the end of the review. Get your ass out to the store if you're in Michigan or Ohio specifically the Toledo area, get yourselves a black cherry burners, give it a taste and enjoy. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up, drop a like, leave a comment down below. Maybe there's a food or a, like a pop item you'd like to see me sample in a future video. Let me know, drop some, suggest some, drop some suggestions down below on what you think I should try next. And if you do enjoy my content, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, Turn on the notifications. That way you know the second I post a new snacking related video. And don't forget, you can join me live on Twitch where I taste test snacks and pops, exotic flavors from around the world and all sorts of weird like foods and candies and things like that.
during my Just Snacking streams. Again, twitch.tv slash who the F is JC. Hope you enjoyed this review. We'll talk to you next time. Sayonara, suckers!